Welcome to our review on conservation of mass. Now, first thing we actually need to understand then is the law of conservation of mass. So quite simply, what that states then is that atoms are not created or destroyed in chemical reactions. Therefore, the mass is conserved. Now, what that actually means is even when a chemical reaction takes place, we're not making new atoms or destroying them in some way. So what that tells us is however many atoms we start with, we must have in our products as well. So the mass of our reactants is going to be the same as the mass of our products. To illustrate this point then, we've got a little equation here that shows you how the masses remain the same. So we start off with our silver nitrate reacting with sodium chloride to make silver chloride and sodium nitrate. So if we work out the relative formula masses for each of those chemicals, what we have, our silver nitrate is 170, sodium chloride 58.5, and then for our products, our silver chloride 143.5, and our sodium nitrate is 85. Now, if we then take our two reactants and add up their masses, we get a total mass of reactants of 228.5. If we do the same thing on the right hand side of the arrow for our products, we also get 228.5, which shows us that we've got exactly the same mass for our reactants as the products. Therefore, mass is being conserved. The kind of question they could ask you here then is to work out what mass of carbon dioxide we make. Now, what they'll do is they will give you the chemical equation and they will give you two of our three masses. So what we can see there is we've got our copper carbonate on the left, which has a mass of 123.5, and one of our products, our copper oxide, has a mass of 79.5. So carbon dioxide is the only other product we make. So quite an easy calculation here. We take the mass of our reactant, 123.5, and subtract the mass of the one product we know which is 79.5. So our calculation there then, 123.5 minus 79.5 gives us the mass of carbon dioxide, which is 44. The more complex question we could get here is what's called a reacting mass. So they give you an introduction to the question, magnesium reacts with oxygen to make magnesium oxide and the chemical equation there. So 2Mg plus O2 makes 2MgO. So the first thing we need to do then is work out our relative formula masses. Now, the only thing we've got to remember here is those twos in front of the magnesium and the magnesium oxide mean that we've got to times the masses by two. So magnesium has a mass of 24. We've got two of them. So the total mass of magnesium reacting here is going to be 48. Oxygen with a little two there, two oxygens, two times 16 is 32. And then our magnesium oxide on the right, 24 plus 16 gives us 40. And again, there are two of them. So 2 times 40 is 80. The kind of question it will then go on to is what mass of oxygen will react completely with 12 grams of magnesium? So what we need to do here is basically take it down into the right proportions. Because in our original equation, we have 48 reacting with 32 for our oxygen but we only want 12 grams of our magnesium. So what we're going to do is 12 divided by our 48, and then we multiply that by 32. So the 48 and the 32 just come from our original equation that we worked out at the start. So when we actually carry out that calculation, 12 divided by 48 times by 32, we get eight grams. Now, a good check here is look back at your original numbers. So in that first equation, we worked out that 48 grams of magnesium is going to react with 32 grams of oxygen. So if our numbers are the wrong way around, so if we had something that was having more oxygen reacting with a smaller quantity of magnesium, something went wrong in our calculation. Check to make sure you got those numbers the right way around in the division because they should still go the same way, okay? So obviously we've got 12 grams of magnesium reacting with eight grams of oxygen. So the magnesium is the higher quantity. 
It's just a good check to put in to make sure that you haven't made a mistake in your calculation.